we are now on the road to 200 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I make NBA content just like this every single day. So there, there's your reason right there. All right, what's going on? Welcome back. By the way, I changed my name on PSN. That's it now. Even though I won't be playing 2K20 on PSN, I'm going to Xbox. My username is me 2 k all lowercase, no space. So, there you go, that's my Xbox username. But before we start this video, you already know by the title. I just want to mention, 2K. What are we doing with this 2K20 demo? Why is it coming out at 11 a.m.? Why? Why Why isn't it coming out at midnight like every other year in the past? Why would you have it come out at 11 a.m. where people are either at school or at work? That is the dumbest thing possible. I'm not back in school yet. I'm in the driver's head. And I can't play the demo until 4. So that's stupid. So that means either I won't get a video up till 5. Or you guys can decide. Would you rather me live stream it? Make separate videos. Or live stream it and cut it up into videos. Let me know down below. And that's an option. I could live stream it and cut it up to videos after the live stream. I could just live stream it and don't make any videos and just leave the live stream up on the channel or just make videos so let me know alrighty uh before we start the video if you're new be sure to subscribe on road 200 subs and we content every day here in under shebang can we hit two likes let's hit two likes for the 2k20 demo let's get it all right so this is a sad video is that troy dan no it ain't troy dan he probably tried to make him out troy dan whatever this is a sad video. I'm 92 overall. You all know Gerald Johnson. 2K19. It wasn't a bad game. It was alright. It wasn't good. It was decent, alright? It was an improvement from 2K19 and uh, 2K18, excuse me. But you can't really get worse than 2K18, so. Yeah. It was, it was a decent game. My career wise, I played a lot. This is probably the most my career I played since probably 2K17 or 16. I played a lot of my career. So, this is a sad video because we're going to be retiring Gerald Johnson. And if you didn't know, when you retire a player in 2K, you can never play a game with him in my career again. You can play Park, but you can't play any more my career games again, which, if you know my channel, that's what I'm all about. I'm all about my career. So, I was in the playoffs. I played two games. I really didn't want to play anymore. I haven't even opened my career for months. So, I'm going to show you the stats. These are games I have played for the NBA. Never mind the playground. I don't play park. But um, for the NBA, 115-24. I've only lost 24 games. I want to say about probably 90% of those games are from Hall of Fame. It's All-Star and above, so it's not bad. Next year, I'm going to start like the first probably like 5 or 10 games on All-Star, then go to Hall of Fame. And depending on how easy or hard the game is, because before 2K19, I've never played on Hall of Fame. I've always been terrified. But it was pretty damn easy, honestly. I was blowing out teams. So I'm probably going to start on All-Star for a couple games and go to Hall of Fame. Instead of just playing like All-Star for my first one or two seasons. When I actually play games, I average 45 points, 5 rebounds, 12 assists, about 2 blocks, and like 3 steals. When I was playing. So that's pretty damn good. I, I played, for, um, Gerald Johnson had 4 seasons, I believe. Let's check. Yeah, I believe I played with him for four seasons. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes, four seasons of Gerald Johnson. He's been on many teams. He is 24. I wanted to play more seasons, but you know how my career is. It gets stale. I don't even count this last season because I simmed the whole season. I didn't even play it. I hated Philadelphia. I want to go back to Milwaukee. These are real, really seasons I played. So, with that said, my boy Gerald Johnson, let's look at his accolades first. Let's look at his accolades. Let's see. My boy Gerald Johnson. He is a four-time MVP. Ever since a rookie, four times in a row. Two-time NBA champion. Should be three-time. But we blew a 3-1 lead to the Celtics. Let's not talk about that. Uh, four-time All-Star his whole career. Four-time first NBA whole career. Three-time. I didn't make it my rookie season, but every year after that I did. First-team All-Defense every year. Rookie of the Year. First team all rookie, and that is it. I also won fi I'm not final. I won finals MVP every single the two years I won a championship. Uh, I also won the All Star MVP, I believe, every single year. 
it doesn't show that stuff. So let's go to the my court. And for the last look, because as you know, I never go into my court. Let's take a last look at my my court. Watch, watch cutscene pop up in my look. Here's are my accolades. Two NBA championship, should be three. Uh, two finals MVPs. That is four NBA MVPs, the all-star MVP. Uh, three defensive player of the years. I also won, I think I won one three-point contest. I've never won a dunk contest. It has been a great career, great year for the channel, and for my career. Gerald Johnson, once again, retires. He started in 2K17, he will live on. 2K20, Gerald Johnson is going to be a beast. Trust me on that. This is it. It's the end of Gerald Johnson, 2K19. Retired as the best player ever. Enjoy the cutscene. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. GG. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You know, when I was playing in China, grinding in the G League, I never would have thought in a million years that I'd be standing here today giving an acceptance speech at the Basketball Hall of Fame in front of some of the greatest players who ever lived. I mean, now, even after all my years in the league, it, it still doesn't seem real. But I guess it is. I mean, we all really, really here, right? Like, I'm not dreaming? Okay, then. I guess I have a few things to say and uh, some people to thank. I try to keep this short. <laughs> First off, I wouldn't be here without my parents. Mom, Dad, I love you. You've been with me every step of the way. They never gave up on me chasing my dream, even when I was on the other side of the world, scared and confused. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Next, I gotta mention, I gotta mention Corey Harris. Where's he at? Corey. <laughs> there he is. Yo, this dude's been my mentor since my freshman year in college. And we didn't always get along, but he helped me to get a shot in the NBA when I didn't even think it was possible. And for that, I am forever grateful. Corey, you're the man. Thank you for everything you did for me back then. I am so blessed and honored to have you as my friend now. I also see my old rival out there, Marcus Young. Marcus, man, you did everything you could to get under my skin early on. But it brought out the best in me when I hit the court and ultimately, it made me a better player. I know you wish it was you up here tonight instead of me, but uh, I mean, what can I say? Tell Zach I said, what's up? It is so exciting to see all these players here that I battled with year after year. Giannis, where are you at? <laughs> Joel, you out there? Oh, there you are. Yeah, trusting the process after all these years. Who else we got? Brock? Lonzo? D-Book? Trey? Man, it is so good to see you all out here tonight. Let me see, uh, I also want to thank my coaches. I've been so enormously lucky throughout the course of my career. My coaches have always helped me, showed me concrete things to work on to take my game to the next step or even the next half step in my career. They listened to me when I had ideas that could help the team. And that's all that any player can ask for in this league. And finally, I just want to thank from the bottom of my heart fans. Whether you've been with me since day one or jumped on the bandwagon later, you mean the world to me. I've had the opportunity to meet many of you throughout the course of my career and I gotta say that y'all have been nothing short of awesome. I know many players say that they do this for the fans and that doesn't always ring true. But for me, for me it absolutely does. Thank you for supporting me, 
Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for being there for me in the good times and the bad. Basketball is a beautiful game. And I have been blessed to have been able to play it at the highest level. I guess this is it. I can't wait to see what the next generation has in store. Thank you all for everything. It means the world to me. Thank you.